It's a photo of Tina Turner, actually, which not, not a lot of people, they didn't make a big thing of, about the fact that it was Tina Turner. And the idea was that this album cover would move on from the first Last Shadow Puppets album cover, which was a black and white shot from the 60s by Sam Haskins. And this time, to sort of suit the music more, it was a, a 70s feel was better. So it was great that this photo was taken in November 1969, so right on the cusp of the 70s. And um, it was originally a black and white photograph, but we kind of went through a whole gamut of colours trying to find something suitable and eye-catching. And, and the, the colours that we used, that sort of orangey browns and rich, rich colours, ran throughout the whole campaign for the album. So that was quite nice. When we were going through ideas for the, the album, we, saw, we went through lots and lots of photographs of, of Miles and Alex. And um, some of their outfits were quite distinctive, to say the least. And um, so we, we went through a lot of, of different permutations for the sleeve, but this, the, the Tina Turner image was one that kept coming back and sort of, sometimes you go through that process, you have an original thought and then you go through literally hundreds of ideas and then you come back to the one that maybe was the right one right, right from the word go and that's kind of what happened here. It came about through a real passion I have for, for vinyl records and it's just built year on year on year and now what's so fascinating is when we first started of course it was a period when vinyl sales were at their absolute lowest and now we see that they're their absolute highest for nearly 20 years I think so it's it, what we like to think is it really is a celebration of great art and music brought together in this fantastic format that is the vinyl record um, I think it's great but you know there's no doubt about it we live in the modern age so when they're creating these these beautiful pieces of work there's going to be something in the back of their mind that says you know some people are going to be seeing this the size of a postage stamp on a telephone for you know for the selling of the music in a digital format. Um, but I think what we're celebrating about is the intricacies that there are here within the designs, the real detail that you see that only becomes apparent when it is in the vinyl, uh, vinyl format. In the display that we've got in the Harry Hotel's window is something that in effect you could do in your own home, curate your own best of 2016 if you like. This is, this is if you like, our representation. So, you know, you, what you see here, you could for intense purposes you could do in your own home as well. It is super accessible. The records aren't 60 quid. They're luckily, they're still vary between you know, 15 to 25 pounds usually. So it's a very, very affordable art, art form to enjoy.